All right, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another day in the old cryptocurrency market and yes, it's a Friday and yes, things are not looking too great in the short term for crypto. So today's video, we're going to be talking about everything you need to know to stay up to date with everything in the world of crypto. Why is the market down? What do I think? Where are we going next? Am I worried? Should you be worried what I'm doing to make the best out of this situation and all of that sort of good stuff? So if you like all things crypto, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. And remember guys, nothing in this video is financial advice because hey, I'm just a guy sitting in his room, right? So without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight on to the Bitcoin chart. Of course, as always, I like to have a look here to see what's happening in the world of crypto now. As we speak right now, let's just move that out of the way. We are in a little bit of a pullback, right? From the top of around 69,000, we are currently down 7%. It's not that bad, right? Everyone's scared, but hey, it's not that bad at all. In fact, just the other day, we had a candle. We had a daily candle, sorry. We had a daily candle here of 7%. So we're down just as much as we've gone up. We are actually exactly where we were one, two, three, four days ago, exactly where we were. And we are significantly higher than we had been for that entire week or two week period. So nothing to worry about here, in my opinion, right? Obviously not financial advice, but if we see here, you can see I put this support here. If we were to test this, I think that would even be a bullish scenario. If we did something similar to what we did here, if we came down and tested it, it could be bullish. Ideally, what we'd want to see, and the reason why I have this line here, is you can see these levels of resistance. Boom, resistance, boom, resistance. We broke through it. Now is the retest. Now is a moment of truth. This is what we're looking for. We want to retest this. As you can see, we bounced directly almost almost exactly on that line and we bounced up. This is what we want to see. This now could be the end of the pullback, the start of the next leg up. You can see we made a higher high. We didn't make a lower low. This is bullish. If now we continue upwards, this will be a bullish move. If we break through this, potentially short term bearish action. You need to come up with your game plan and decide what you're going to do at that point, right? Maybe you're going to take some profits if we do break this. That's something you have to come up with. Now, just while we're on the note of Bitcoin, if you do want to take advantage of the volatility in the cryptocurrency world and you are an experienced, let me repeat that, an experienced trader, you can come over to Bybit and you can trade here both on the spot market and the derivatives exchange. So you can leverage trade right here. You can get up to 100x leverage if you want to but please remember this is for experienced traders now the reason why i like bybit is they have some of the lowest fees anywhere across the cryptocurrency market and also if you sign up using the link down there in my description you can get up to three thousand five hundred dollars in bonuses so if you fancy it use that link stay safe please stay safe right so if we head over to the coin market cap the coin market cap we can see that the overall cryptocurrency market is down 2.54 percent on the day now that might not seem significant but if you hold a lot of money in altcoins that can equate to a very very high loss in fiat value which is what i'm seeing right now but honestly this is nothing we're not used to right 10 percent moves in a day are normal for crypto and nothing that i'm worried about see every Everything is red today and the reason it's red is because we're going through those fears again of inflation that ever grand crisis that's happening over in China that people are worried could destabilize the entire financial markets these are the kind of things that happen and especially when markets are super super frothy frothy super super frothy and green that's when people start to panic right they're high up it means that people are sitting there waiting for a time to take their profits if everyone does it at the same time the market can pull back now another reason why the market has pulled back recently we spoke about this in yesterday's video is leveraged positions right lots and lots of liquidated positions people basically jumped onto bitcoin they saw this green candle and they started leveraging up on the way up this is fomo retail fomo right fear of missing out then basically the price switched and started to go down people started to get liquidated 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 now another thing with retail it's funny right because just what five days ago we were at 
64,000, exactly where we are now, and everyone's rejoicing. Yes, 64,000. Four days later, we are at 64,000 and everyone's scared. That's basically a summary of the way the retail mind works. So don't be retail minded, be long-term minded. Find coins, projects, that sort of thing that you believe in for the long-term, invest in them, hold them for the long term, take some profits when the market is green. Don't panic now when the market's super red. Take some profits here when the market's green, when everyone's super euphoric. That's when I'm personally shaving some profits off the top. And that's what I do over in my Patreon. If you do wanna stay up to date when I make buys and sells, come and join the Patreon. The link is down there in the description. And often in there, I take profits when the market is very, very green. People ask me what I'm doing and I'm simply protecting my downside. That's it. That's it, no FOMO, no greed, just protecting my downside. So if we do move on to a little bit of bearish news, we'll just get that out of the way right now. We can see that Indonesia's Islamic authority declares cryptocurrency as haram forbidden by Muslims. Now this isn't to be taken lightly in my opinion. I think that if this narrative gets spread around the world, if we do check around 26% of the world's population is Muslim. So this could have a negative effect on the price of Bitcoin and the bullish momentum. It could do. I'm hoping it won't. I'm hoping that this doesn't affect us too much, but it is definitely something to consider when you're thinking about the bull and the bear scenarios. Now with that out of the way, we can get to the pumpy McPumperson good old news that we all love to talk about. Diamond hands, we spoke about this on the channel before, only 12.9% of Bitcoin supply remains on exchange. All Bitcoin, 12% of all Bitcoin remains on the exchange, where the rest of it is with long-term holders. People don't wanna sell Bitcoin, and when supply is low, this is when we see drastic increases in price. Very nice. Now, as well as this, Miami will hand out free Bitcoin to residents from profits on its city coin. This is a state giving back in crypto to people who live there. This is mass adoption right here. It's happening. We're at the start of the mass adoption phase and I couldn't be more excited. Now, if we head over to Twitter, one of the guys that I like to follow here is Lark Davis. He's also a YouTuber, great channel over there. He made an interesting point about the inflation we just spoke about. At 6.2% inflation rate, you lose half of your wealth stored in fiat every 11 years. Half, half of all of your money in the bank you lose every 11 years. Now, of course, if you had $100 in the bank, it would still say $100, but you'd only have the spending power of $50. Now, in my opinion, if you put $100 into Bitcoin today, in 11 years, it will be worth far, far more. But of course, that is just the opinion of a guy sitting in his room. Now, AMC theaters are now also accepting Bitcoin for online payments. And something interesting I do like to look at is Google Trends. Now, I learned about Google Trends when I used to do online business, e-commerce and that sort of thing. And it's very interesting to actually find what the world is searching for. So as you can see here from the Bitcoin archive, searches for buy the dip four to five times higher in this Bitcoin cycle that peaked back in May than it was back in January of 2018. So there are way more people buying the dip currently. The current dip that we're in, there are a lot more people searching or even who know about that. It means there's a much longer term mindset when people are looking to buy the dip, right? So if we do head over to Google Trends, you can check it out directly here. Just type in Google Trends on Google and you can search different search terms. I like to use worldwide and the past five years. You can see here the amount of retail that is currently in the market is nowhere near what it was even just a few months ago when Bitcoin was around where it is today. You can see here, how to buy crypto is something that I search. You can see we super peaked in May, the May just gone, and now we are starting to make our way up, but we are nowhere near where we were. So in my opinion, we still have a long way to go to enter that retail FOMO space, that euphoric space in the market. So I think that this is not the end of the current bull run. That's my personal opinion, right? That's just what I think. Now, now, lastly, we can talk about Plan B's 98K Bitcoin price target for the end of November is still on track and we have to enjoy the ride. This is just normal day to day in crypto. Things are normal. Losing 10% is normal. Gaining 10% is normal. With that all said, hopefully you can go into this weekend feeling a little bit more chilled. 
Don't check your portfolio every five seconds. I know I struggle with this, but it will help you keep a clear mind. With all of that said, let me know down in the comment section what you think is next. Do you think that we're gonna test maybe the $50,000 mark? Or do you think that it's plain sailing here on out for Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market? Hopefully I provided you a value today and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.